All right, guys, so we've been in desperate need of a cell phone booster. We've got the uh, internet booster and extender through uh, the Wi-Fi Ranger. If you haven't checked that out, I'll put a link here. But uh, the cell phone service as we're driving through the mountains and these small towns is uh, real patchy and we require cell phone service when traveling and also data um, to tether because a lot of times we don't or are not in range of uh, internet signal. So we've got the high boost and this is the C27G-5S. I'll put a link to that. And um, it's a pretty cool system. You've got your user's manual. You've got the main system component here. You've got the antenna that is magnetic, goes on the roof of your vehicle. This can be used for car, truck, motorhome. Um, got the uh, cigarette lighter adapter. And then this is the little patch antenna. This is what you need to have inside the vehicle so that you can get a good signal. And here's Kato. And here's a sleeping dog that's snoring. Yep. And there's another dog sunbathing. So we're going to do a little uh, install and test. Now this cell phone booster is made so that you can simply move it from vehicle to vehicle, but I chose to permanently install this, so I mounted the box under the seat. Interior antenna right here in between the seat and my center console. So, um, I've always heard, you know, that you want to be as close as possible to it, so, um, you know, the phone usually rests right there on our center console, so that's, you know, six inches away from it. Not bad. We also hardwired the system to the truck so that it's hidden. I don't have to plug it into the cigarette lighter, and that frees up some space. Um, so, yeah, and the uh, out exterior antenna is now mounted on the rear of the roof right above the uh, third brake light so looks a lot better and um, I won't have any kind of wind noise which is super super exciting because that wind noise would drive me nuts all right so just tested the cell phone booster well I didn't test the cell phone booster I tested my cell phone speed and connection on the inside of our rig I stepped outside, I'm in the driveway, and um, I'm in the Juicy, so we're going to see what the uh, difference in results is now being right by the cell phone booster. Let's check it out. So I'm super impressed, just did the test in the driveway, and um, I gained a couple of megabytes per second on the download speed and a few on the upload speed. And um, I'm in a great area for cell phone service um, but you know to see those boosts when you're using data is super super nice and you know when we're in bad areas to get you know that sort of a boost is really awesome because that can mean you know that's the difference between no service and you know crappy service but at least you have it and when we're traveling through the mountains and the hills and all that a lot of times we lost service completely and um, you know it, it's not fun if you need to find something look up something um, when you're traveling with a big rig you know you you definitely feel a lot better when you have service so you know this booster is in my opinion well worth it um, I, you know I wouldn't be without one of these knowing uh, how well it performed and that I you know if it saves me one time uh, it's well worth it especially when you're working on the road so anyways that's my opinion hope you guys like it and um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below alright guys so a few specs on this you can have up to 10 people using the booster at one time so everyone in your rig 
is going to be able to use the booster. It's made out of metal, which is actually better than um, another brand that's out there that's really popular. And this is uh, less money, so it does pretty much the same thing and uh, for less money. So check it out. I put the link below and hope you guys enjoy.